Sometimes you may find it very difficult to use SVG scalable vector graphic images on your React Native application. So this is just going to be a step-by-step -step, uh, way of, of using any SVG you want to use on your uh, React Native application. And I'm going to show you how to set it up without wasting of time. So you make sure that you uh, watch my Expo uh, crash course or Expo installation course where I talked about how you can install a simple Expo project or as well, even if you are using a React Native, it's no different much because maybe this is Expo, this is React Native, but trust me, they all is still going to give you one same result. So make sure you already have this project uh, created. That is your React Native project created. Now, let me just switch into this Expo project. Now, inside my project folder, I have to install React Native SVG. So the way we can get React Native SVG is to uh, look for it on Google, React, React Native SVG. And we can use the GitHub community link so if you scroll down it's going to show you the installation and it's just very simple so this is the way you can install it for expo even if you use yon add uh, the projects there is nothing wrong because you use yon you have yon installed before you can be able to use it so but let's just stick to uh, the expo way of doing this i'm just going to install that quickly so why that is being installed you can come over to your browser type feathericons.com so feather icons is where you get SVG icons. Uh, you can actually download them from there, but it's, it's not the only resource or the only place you can get SVG icons from any place. Let's say, uh, I think there's one called uh, free, free icons, I think Flaticon, yeah. So let's say for example, even if I come to Flaticon and grab one of these icon, Okay, let me just quickly grab that so that we can make use of it. So let's say I want to grab this uh, icon you can see here or this one. I can download this at SVG. So it's going to download that for me. I can just save it to where I want to save it. So I'm just going to come over to my uh, desktop, I guess, I have SVGs, I download there, and it's called covid.svg. So this covid.svg, I'm going to open that on my browser. So that you can see the covid SVG, and I'm going to hit control U. I just want to make use of the source code you can see here, but this is very, very big. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm just showing you how you can use any icon. So, I'm just going to come over to React SVGR. So you can come over to React SVGR.com. You know, click on the play, playground link at the top. Then I'm going to remove these lines. I'm going to now paste that. So it's going to generate an SVG I can now use on my React Native. So you can see that is very, very simple. So, but remember that we are already installing this and it's done installing. So I'm just going to open that. I mean, opening my uh, code editor. And once more, make sure you type down expo start. So while that is being starting, we can come over to our project folder. I'm going to create a folder called, uh, sorry for that. I'm going to create a folder called source. So this folder called source is going to contain my icons folder. Now in this icons folder, I'm going to create, uh, let me give this a name. Maybe I want to use the COVID icon and can just give it a name. I can say COVID, COVID.CSS. So one funny thing here, you can notice that I'm not using COVID.SVG now. I'm still using the normal way of using uh, creating a component with React. So I'm just going to type ROFC because I just want a simple functional component. So make sure you have ESC's uh, <coughs> plugin 
and installed so guys sorry for that little noise it's going to come down here it's for default covid so react native does not work with dom elements let's import the first one i'm going to import from uh react native svg so when i mean that react native does not work with dom elements i i'm talking about this div but since we are not uh talking about the view or the or designing uh react native just the icon let's just stick to this for now so in the svg i'm going to import the path but before that we have to import the svg now we import the path so inside here let me just change it to a functional based component cons covid which is going to return a function so right here we can wrap everything inside the svg now svg itself accepts some parameters you can just close this let it just be a single thing the first thing is it accepts is the width and uh, let's just go over, over to the uh, website. So right here, you can see the width and the height of the icon. So every icon you want to make use of is going to have a width and a height. But uh, since we are not uh, making use of a big, large icon, I'm still going to grab a little icon from feather icons. So I'm just going to grab, uh, let's, let me just grab a nice icon, maybe just grab an award icon. So this award icon, as usual, just open, grab this line of code, come over to SVGR, clear every other thing there. Oh, sorry guys for that. I'm just gonna paste that. And it, it, I think this is better. It gives me something more simple. So I can just grab everything here. So same thing, just like when you have a big line of text, it's the same result. I'm just going to come over here and paste that. So I'm not using a props, I'm not using a class name, I'm not using this, this. So the stroke, I'm just gonna give it a color of, uh, let me use hash FF, uh, FF45100, that's something uh, like pink. So it's gonna have a few rule of even odd, is going to have a stroke line cap of round and is going to have a stroke line join of round so the path is going to be there so the circle we also have to bring in the circle so you have to be very observant whenever you are um, using a custom svg so i think we are done setting that up so for us to make use of it, we already have to make sure we are running our Android application. So if that has started, I'm going to open my Expo application. I'm going to hit on that uh, URL you see here, which is going to open the app for me simply. So let's just allow that. I think it, it, it has to bundle that. Well, let me just close this and uh, open the browser. Let me hit it from here so it should definitely connect so we have the application running i'm going to come over to app.txx so right here i'm going to clear that and it's going to remove the text for us in our screen and everything seems to be on the center and right now all i just have to do is to import covid so i named the icon to be covid from you can go over to the source folder icons then covid so when you do that you just have to come over here pass the covid and call the component there so it's going to uh it's supposed to definitely bring out the comp uh, the that for us so let me check again so we have the field we set the field to none but the field is supposed to be let me just use the red so you can see we already have that i think let me set it to none okay we don't have uh 
we don't have a fill color but you can see the strokes are actually showing we can increase the fonts uh the size and the width so any limits that we want it so even if we increase it to 104 104 and you can see the icon showed perfectly so that's how we can use any icon so let me just kind of uh come here and let's just uh, do some undo uh, over here this is very very long but let's just kind of try to paste that to see what you're gonna have no 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 so there are a lot of things here but i think this has given you a clue and also an idea of how you can create or use a custom svg without necessarily downloading the file and occupying your project folder to have a large amount of files so when you do it this way you, you you are going to have less minimal codes and also less minimal file sizes. So thank you for watching. Do make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button.